long diesel truck. It was his first trip to Boston. He was having lots of luck. He was going the wrong direction down a one-way street in town. And this is what he said when the police chased him down. Give me 40 acres and I'll turn this rig around. It's the easiest way that I've found. Some guys can turn it on a dime or turn it right downtown. But I need 40 acres to turn this rig around. When he finally found where to unload, he had a dreadful shock. His trailer pointed toward the road and his cab right to the dock. And as he looked around him, through his tears he made this sound. Oh, give me 40 acres and I'll turn this rig around. Give me 40 acres and I'll turn this rig around. It's the easiest way that I've found. Some guys can turn it on a dime or turn it right downtown. But I need 40 acres to turn this rig around. Squelch to the right and in the night you'll hear some good buddy say, Breaker, breaker, got a picture taker. Old smoke is at 43. It's that Japanese toy, the trucker's joy, that everybody calls CB. Yeah, Citizens Band keeps you up to date with fender benders and the Tijuana taxis and all them bears out there flip flop. Now ahead of your children and ahead of your wife on the list of the 10 best things in life, your CB's got a rate right around number four. Of course, beavers and hot biscuits and Merle Haggard come one, two, three, you know. Well, I was loaded down coming out of Lake City. I was checking out seat covers, young and pretty. When all of a sudden there come a call over my CB ringing wall to wall. Said Clover Double Nickels as he hit the ridge, cause there's a smoky picture taken to the other side of the bridge. Oh, mercy, appreciate that, good buddy. Now, what you handle there? Come on. I got any county mountains out there prowling? Come on. And he said, 10 4 back door. Put the pedal to the metal and let it roar. Hammer down to Macon Town, gonna see my mama shore. Where the bears are gone, let's bring it on. The Georgia line's out of sight. Pulled out of Richmond Town last Saturday night, and my handle is the White Knight. How about it? All right, White Knight. Hammer down, you got the mean machine here. Was a streak in my needle, was a peaking a ride around 79. That old diesel juice was a getting loose and everything was fine. But wall to wall, I got a call, front door, big bear trapper. Said, break one nine, good buddy of mine, you got a smoky and a plain white wrapper. Well, I jammed my stick, I lost 20 quick, you could hear them gears a tearing. I got pants by a beaver and a Camaro, I was cruising along, a going so slow. I could count every button on that for really blouse she was wearing. Of course, they weren't but one. Hey there, Super Trooper. Yeah, that's the crafty Smokey over there with a CB of his own. 
Hey, White Knight, let's slide one on the Super Trooper. Come on. Ten four back door. Put the pedal to the metal. What you waiting for? That old white can't stay inside. Gonna leave you here and say no more. How about it? Whoa, now, old buddy. That's fighting talk. I'd get up there and blow your doors off. Well, I hammer down like I had wings. Little gravels in my wheels going ping, ping, ping. About the time I hit 92, saw something flashing in my rear view. Thought to myself, that can't be true. But there it was. Oh, blue, blue, blue. Uh-oh, bubblegum machine done hit the jackpot. Well, I could see that bear laughing big, hanging in tight on the back of my rig. Right there and then it came to me wall to wall. Mm-hmm. So in that cold, dark Georgia night, in the shadows of Smokey Bear's blue light, I decided to make me just one more CB call. Breaker one night for the Super Trooper. Hey there, Smokey old buddy, tell me if I'm right, or are you my front door? Are you the white knight? Come on. And he said, Ten four. Back door, you're in a heap of trouble, boy, that's for sure. Gonna read you your rights and treat you far. Pull over thar with your rocking char. Won't you boys to know each other real well? Cause you gonna be sharing the same jail cell. You make 12 cotton pickers I've caught tonight. From the front door of that white knot. How about it? Forty miles over the speed limit. You boys gonna be here a spell. That's it, cotton figures. I've done been grounded. My tail in jail, my rig impounded. So when you're coming through the Georgia night, don't ever get no front door call the white knot. No, sir. Wind up in the pokey with Smokey. I'm gonna pull that old CB thing out by the wires. I don't care if it is junk. <laughs> Strips of rubber that you see were burned off this rick by the likes of me. They'll rot along the highways in this land. I'm gonna sign my name in that diesel smoke and let the ones that come along behind me choke and beat this pace. I'm ascending the time they can. Oh, I'm looking at the world through a windshield, watching it fly by me on the right. I got a sweet little thing I'm a want to see in Memphis tonight. I'm down around Dallas and roll on south tonight. Well, I pushed this rig through sleet and rain, and I've driven through the rough terrain of the Rockies to the docks of old LA. And on down that old Pacific shore, swing north and run for Baltimore, somewhere about 2,000 miles away. Whoa! Watching it fly by me on the right I got a sweet little thing I'm a wanting to see in Nashville and I'm down around Dallas and rolling on south tonight Yeah, I'm down around Dallas and rolling on south tonight time to cry, time to forgive, and a time to forget. Dreams we dream sometimes never die. We carry them on until they become someone else's dream. A friend of mine had such a dream. I met her at a truck stop just outside of Phoenix. We both worked there. 
Her dream came true, I know. The key to her dream was a little sign that read, Giddy Up Go. She was a lovely girl, pretty smile, but behind all this I could see a troubled mind. She told me when she met the guy that won her heart and made her life a joy. And before too long, more happiness came. A little baby boy. Things wasn't too bad, his job wasn't much, but somehow they got by. And then came the day he drove home a big truck. And the little boy became so overjoyed, just like when he saw his first fall of snow. He kept hollering, giddy up, go, daddy, giddy up, go. Then a dark cloud moved in. A few years later, without warning, after a few visits with her doctor, he said it was just a matter of time. She knew she'd have to move to a drier climate, and this troubled her mind. So without leaving a trace, she took her son and left town one night. She settled here, and we became the closest of friends. We talked from time to time, and she'd smile, and her eyes would glow when she'd tell me about Giddy Up Go. Each time a truck would pull in, I could see her stand and stare. Wasn't long before she had to give up being a waitress here, and she moved on out of town, not too far. We visited almost every week. The boy now is almost grown. He's the image of his dad, she'd say. The most handsomest man I've ever known. The dark cloud once more moved in. And as I stood close by, once again she told her story. I could see a tear in her eye. I know my son longs for the road. And the last request she had, let him become a truck driver like son, like dad. The boy soon left town. I never knew for where. But I find myself watching every truck that pulled in around the curve. Giddy up go was the only link that held between the two. And I was hoping that I could be of help. It became a dream to me, too. Just now, I froze in my tracks as I watched two trucks pull in. A big new shiny diesel and an old one following him. I couldn't help staring as they walked in, ordered coffee, and talked a while. Then I saw them leave, both wearing such a smile. They walked out to the old truck, brushed off some dirt so the nameplate would show. And before my eyes, a little sign that read, Giddy up, go. The highways that wind and wonder Across this lonesome land Sure can get weary sometimes Especially when you get a flat on the old easel I was barreling down old 77 one day And I just passed a hobo who'd given me the thumb And I gave him the thumb back and kept going And wouldn't you know it About a quarter of a mile further I pulled up on the shoulder With a flat on the right rear And as I stood there looking at it Shaking my head Uttering some profane syllables The hobo walked up and said to me Have a flat? No, thanks, I got one It ain't too bad, it's only flat on the bottom Oh, brother, you could tell this guy'd been out of circulation for a long time What you gonna do about it? Well, I was just gonna look for a man to help me fix it Good, I'll help you look for him How about you? Yeah, how about me? Well, I mean, how about you giving me a hand? Oh, I'd like to help you, buddy, but I'm too light for heavy work and too heavy for light work. And too lazy. Well, that might fit in there someplace. Well, thanks a lot. I'll fix it myself. And I'll supervise the job. 
Uh, say, old buddy, how about giving me a dime for a piece of cake? Well, if that don't beat all, and it's cake you want. Well, today's my birthday. All right, help me fix this flat, and I'll buy you a full dinner. Okay, you got a deal, but uh, let me see the menu first. Look, Buster, you know hard work won't kill you. I don't know. I lost several wives that way. Come on now, you look strong enough to work. And you look handsome enough to be a movie star, but I see you're pushing this old diesel. Ah, uh, surely you must have done some work. Oh, yeah, I work now and then. Well, what do you do? This and that. Where about? Here and there. I see. Now, when are you going to give me that dime? Sooner or later. You can kid me if you want to, but I'll tell you one thing. I wouldn't change places with a guy that had a million bucks. Nah, how about five million? Not even five million. How about ten million? Not even, well, nah, that's different. You're talking real dough. Now, look at here, you no good, mangy, knock neat, bow-legged, ball-headed, two-bit hobo. Who are you calling bow-legged? Now, look, you're going to help me fix this flat or I'm going to break your... Careful, chum, you'll bend the soup. Now, for the last time, are you or ain't you? You get so excited. Okay, I'll help you. Let me take a look at that tire. Hmm, just as I thought. That ain't no blowout, just a slow leak. Hand me that tire pump. And friends, if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. That tramp took that pump, and with one hand, mind you, pumped that big tire full of air in no time. Well, what do you know? No flat. Partner, I want to thank you. Hop in the cab, and the next stop we make, I'll buy you the biggest steak and the best cake they've got in the house. Sounds like a winner. Just one thing, though. I noticed you only used one hand on that tire pump. How come? Oh, I don't know, except uh, this arm's broke. Broke? Just a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry, old buddy. How did it happen? Well, it was like this. I got a hold of this copy of the Playboy magazine. Yeah. And I thought it was a Sears and Roebuck catalog. Go on. And I broke my arm filling out order blanks. Oh, no. Come on. Let's hit the road. Sweetest ever seen With big blue eyes that sparkle She's a 